Hello, my name is Usuk Lee, and thank you for coming to my presentation entitled uh, Tightly Coupled GNSSA Aided Visual Inertia Localization. The goal of this project is to fuse GNS sensor measurement with visual inertia odometry system to provide globally accurate and locally precise localization performance. In order to improve the GNS measurement model, we focus on differential GNS technique, which can provide more accurate measurement than a single GNS sensor can provide. The conventional way of differential GNS technique is shown on the left side. GNS satellite sends a signal to both base station and the sensor mounted on the robot. Then the base station computes the differential information and sends it to the robot, which allows it to remove atmospheric error from satellite signal. Though this method is known to be precise, the method requires two or more number of GNS sensors, which also can raise communication problem. To overcome these drawbacks, the proposed system, which is shown on the right side, utilizes only single GNS sensor mounted on the robot and performs differential GNS technique. Instead of using the GNS signals collected from different GNS sensors, we use sequential GNS measurements collected from the same sensor and extract differential information between them. This method is basically replacing the base station with the robot pose which requires the knowledge of historical robot poses that we handle by keeping them in our state vector. The advantages of the proposed method are that it can be performed with only one GNS sensor without worrying about the communication or distance issue between the base station. We would like to note that the method is equivalent to have the base station right next to the robot, which allows more precise GNS measurement modeling. Lastly, this method utilizes the raw GNS measurements, such as pseudo range, carrier phase, and Doppler measurements, which allows VIO system tightly coupled with GNS information without worrying about modeling the atmospheric error that is very hard to model precisely. To perform the proposed differential technique, there are several parameters that have to be known beforehand. To recover these parameters from zero base, we perform two step initialization process. When the system starts and GNS measurements come in, we collect the measurements along with the VIO poses. Once we collect the information above threshold, we first recover ECF to word frame by solving linear least squares with quadratic constraint problem. Our experiments show that the accuracy of this initialization is better when the collected information has a longer trajectories and smaller GNS measurement noise. After the frame initialization, we move on to recover GNS sensor parameters, which include GNS sensor time bias and its drift rate. We recover them by solving linear least squares problem, which shows better accuracy with larger number of measurements collected. We would like to note here that all these processes are linear without iteration, so it can be done very quick and efficiently. Our simulation results show that the proposed method is robust to atmospheric errors and is able to perform accurate localization with this accurate measurement model compared to state-of-the-art methods. The proposed method also performs online calibration of spatial temporal parameters between the GNS sensor and the system. The results on the right side shows a consistent calibration converging all initial errors to zero. Here I briefly explain the goal of this project and how we model the differential GNSS with single sensor. The results shows GNSS atmospheric error robust global localization of the proposed system. Thank you for listening and please come to my booth if you have any questions.